You're just gonna... And the entire white claw is just gonna go right into there. Welcome to Mythical Kitchen, where dreams come in a variety pack at Costco. You can buy anything there, you really can. Today we are making White Claw pancakes. The first time I had a White Claw, I was like, I don't get it. Why not just drink a light beer? Natty Light got me this far in life. I wanna keep riding that Natty train. And then the second time I had a White Claw, I was like, okay, I get it. And then the third time I had a White Claw, mind you, this is all in the span of 10 minutes. I was like, I think I'm starting to understand. By that sixth White Claw, I was like, I think I can make breakfast with this thing. So that's what we're gonna do today. If you're following along at home, you can snag the time codes right there. Or right there, right there. But the real time codes are in there. Let's get cooking. First step, you're gonna make your raspberry white claw syrup because like what else would you make to go with white claw pancakes? So we're gonna take about eight ounces of raspberries and then we're gonna dump in a half cup of sugar. Now the raspberries are gonna start to release some natural juices and we're gonna mash the sugar into the raspberries a little bit as it heats up. Put in the white claw, all the alcohol is gonna cook out. Well, not all of it. It's kind of a myth that how much alcohol cooks out when you heat it, but some of the alcohol is gonna cook out. We'll find out after breakfast, I suppose. So you can hear the raspberry sizzling a little bit. We're gonna mash them up just a little bit, get that working with the sugar. That's looking nice. You can see them releasing some of their juices. This is a process called macerating. Say it very carefully, Mas macerating. We're gonna stir that up, and then we have to get our white claw in there. And so the proper way to open a white claw, get it into your pan, you're gonna take out your culinary keys, and then you're just gonna and the entire white claw is just gonna go right into there. And I do have a long shoot day ahead of me and now I'm sticky. And one of my biggest fears in life is being sticky. So we're gonna let this come to a boil. So that's gonna do two things. That's gonna start to reduce it. It's gonna make the syrup nice and tight. And then two, it's gonna cook out the 5% alcohol of the white claws. Mmm, tastes like bad decisions at a bachelor party. Shout out to Kyle for getting married. I'm very excited to ruin an Airbnb. Me and my friends will get like Airbnbs every summer. There was one person on the Airbnb website that complained that she found quote, hundreds of rib bones in her backyard. It wasn't a hundred, it was 72 to be exact. And we didn't know where to put them because we were eating ribs in the hot tub, of course. And so we just throw them over the fence into our neighbor's backyard. We thought like that doll, she has a dog, you know, it barks all day. The dog would love the rib bones as a treat, but no, they did not take our act of gratitude kindly. Now our syrup has really come together. It's starting to reduce. It's really bubbling a lot. And so now we have to thicken it up. So we're gonna take some cornstarch and water and we're just gonna go ahead and use our white claw opening tool to stir that together. I hope my car works after this. And then we're just gonna pour in the cornstarch slurry. You can see the syrup really start to thicken up. And then we're gonna add our lemon juice just to give it some like real brightness. And the brightness is gonna cut through any residual alcohol that ends up in the pancakes. What a weird sentence to say. So now that the syrup is really coming together, we're gonna take about two tablespoons of lemon juice. Uh, I'm just gonna juice it straight from the lemon and I'm gonna hold it face up. That way any of the seeds are gonna go right into my hand. And we're just gonna juice that in there and then give it a nice stir. And you wanna reduce this until it coats a spoon pretty well. We're almost there, another minute. We're gonna pull this off the heat and then we're gonna start making our citrus compound butter. And uh, we're elevating the summer drink of ruining Airbnbs. So now we have to make our citrus compound butter. We don't have to make our citrus compound butter. Adding white claw to pancakes is all optional for your life. So I'm gonna take out my citrus zester and I'm just gonna start grating 11. You wanna get about, that's not working too well. I'm gonna take about a tablespoon of zest each of lemon, orange, and grapefruit. You can use any citrus that you want on this, but I like to have a nice melange in there because I get classy with my White Claw pancakes, you know? White Claws aren't all about drinking on the beach. White Claws are about family and community. White Claw is not a sponsor of this. I'm not sure if you could tell. So we're gonna get our lemon zest in there and then we're gonna hit it up with an orange. I like especially combining lemon and orange because lemon, you get like all that freshness and orange, you get that little bit of like a sweet kind of palette on it. And then we're gonna get in the grapefruit for a little bit of bitter. All right, so we have all of our citrus zest in there and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna pour, oh. What I'm gonna do is pour in all the salt that I had there and I was gonna add a pinch of to it. What you wanna do, uh, hold on, this is called the old pivot. This is the old PR flip. What you wanna do is you wanna pour salt all over your citrus zest. That's really gonna bring out all those citrusy notes of it. And then you gotta take your salt and you're just gonna put it back where it came from. And this is a process known as dry burking. All right, so we've got all of our beautiful zest in our citrus dry burk bowl. And then now we're gonna take two tablespoons of sugar. Get it together, man. This is the rib bones all over again. You're gonna get all the oils blended into that sugar and it's gonna turn this beautiful kind of yellow orangish color. So now we're gonna take our softened stick of butter and we're gonna add that to our bowl. 
And then we're gonna take our hand mixer. You could also do this with a whisk, but we're gonna do a whipped butter. It's gonna be a really light and airy texture, and then you can just scoop it with an ice cream scoop. You're gonna taste exactly like, a, I don't know, a Denny's mixed with a ZBT frat party. And immediately go to the highest setting. Can it go higher? It can. And you're just gonna drill right in there like Michael Clark Duncan in Armageddon. Can it go higher? It can go higher! Hey, you want like 100% whippage levels. This is looking nice and gorgeous. Now just hit the eject button. And that is your citrus whipped compound butter. Mmm, tastes like childhood. I used to eat sticks of butter. So what? So right now we are making the actual white claw pancake batter. And I have long added soda water to pancake batter because the carbonation in it can actually make your batter lighter. So that's something I really enjoy and it. Figured why not throw some white claw in there. I'm using my favorite flavor, black cherry. Uh, it's mostly my favorite flavor because no one else drinks it. And so I get it all. So you want a full can of white claw minus one sip. Oh, it hits different in the morning, you know? You guys ever do white claw mimosas? Claw mimosas? It's great, you pour in three quarters parts black cherry to one quarter part whatever other white claw you have. Because we're using white claw as a liquid instead of say milk or cream, we wanna add a little bit more fat in there. So we're gonna do two yolks and one whole egg and the way to separate an egg, you can just dump it in your hands and let the whites run through your fingers, but a more hygienic way, uh, we're just gonna separate it in the actual shell, kind of pass it back and forth. Our other egg here, and the batter. And then one whole egg. Whoa, <laughs> that's aggressive white claw. It makes you aggressive in the morning. We got our eggs in there. I like to add all my wet ingredients to a blender, and I also like to make pancake batter in the blender because it just gets it nice and fluffy, and you only have to use like one bowl. So we got some melted butter in there. Then we are going to add in our flour, and then we're going to toss in, this is both baking soda and baking powder. A Little bit of sugar, a little bit of salt. Perfect. Uh, blender goes. Push it down to tamper a little bit. Now your pancake. <laughs> now your pancake batter is looking nice and fluffy. Let's make some pancakes. And I have an electric griddle here. It is one of my favorite tools in the kitchen. It costs like 20, 30 bucks. Go down to the Walmart, that's where I got mine. I'm just gonna smear in a hefty amount of butter on there. Then we're gonna take about a half cup of pancake batter and we are just going to dollop that right on the griddle. Just a half cup and then the pancake will naturally spread itself out. It's the pancake trying to get away from the white claw because it knows it shouldn't be there. So we're gonna make a nice short stack of two. Pancakes, the way to cook them is you put them on there and then they're pancakes. Mazel tov. No, pancakes, you know they're ready to flip. When the bubbles actually start to rise, you see it already starting to happen there. When a majority of the surface area is covered with bubbles, that means that the batter is getting cooked and it's aerating, and so you are ready to flip them. Oh yeah, it smells like claws. So we're cooking this on about medium heat. When you cook pancakes, you don't wanna do it on too high of a heat. Everyone's dad growing up made burnt pancakes, and I don't know how it happened, but like, don't dad burn your pancakes. Ryan laughed, because he knows it's true. Every, every time my dad tried to make pancakes, like, Without fail, they were just burnt. No matter how low the flame was, no matter like how much we tried not to burn them, they were just burnt. The batter is actually gonna start heating through on that first cook on the side. So when you flip it, it just needs to go for like another minute, and then it's gonna be done. Uh, if you are consistently cooking raw pancakes, that might be a problem and then we can talk. But the rule of thumb for me is go about 70% on the first side. You'll see the bubbles, the batter will start to cook all the way through, flip it one more minute, and then it's done. Give a look. Ooh, look how big and puffy these guys are. That's fantastic. So the pancakes are feeling done. I'm gonna start plating these up. And then we're gonna get our butter right on top when it's still warm so it starts melting. I'm gonna do a nice little fancy French technique called canelling. You're gonna take spoons and you're gonna do this to it. I wanted to use an ice cream scoop, but I couldn't find it. That's probably good enough. And then boom, beautiful canela butter on there. And then we're gonna get some of that beautiful raspberry syrup on there that's infused with all that white claw flavor. That is a heavy pour of syrup. Whoops, <laughs> the butter's sliding. I need a fork. Oh no, we need to spork someone. Forking yourself. I'm sporking myself, I can't do that, I'll go blind. As you see, all the butter is melted, which means that you can add more butter. If all your butter melts, you're allowed to add more butter. That's the rules of pancakes to me. That's completely flooded with syrup. This plate of pancakes looking too good, I gotta get it inside my mouth hole. <laughs> And to get you inside my mouth hole, I'm giving you the most immersive experience possible. This is the self-sport cam. I've been self-sporking for the last several months, every night before I go to bed. And we're just gonna dig right into the pancakes. This is normally how self-sporking goes. And 
Now that was a bite of food. It was 80% butter, which is like how I like my pancakes in the morning. I got 80% butter, 15% white claw, five to 105% pure deliciousness. It was really good. Honestly, you don't taste the alcohol in it. You get a little bit of that like artificial flavory snap in there. Tons of raspberry flavor. The citrus comes through. The pancakes are light and fluffy. This is everything you could possibly want from a healthy, balanced breakfast. Thank you so much for stopping by the Mythical Kitchen. Leave a comment with what mythical dishes you want to see us cook next. Hit us up on Instagram with pictures of your food under hashtag dreams become food, and that's at Mythical Kitchen. We've got a new episode of a hot dog as a sandwich out every Wednesday. New cooking videos out every week. See you guys later. I'm gonna spork again. I'm gonna spork myself again. Twice in one day, huh? Ambitious. Mmm! See you guys later. See you next time. Make your kitchen more mythical with these stickers and magnets. Now available at mythical.com.